Hey guys, Space Monkeys here with a new video. This time I'm showing off a simpler and more compact version of my combination lock design. First thing though is special thanks to fellow Redditor and YouTuber Tavi Writer for showing me a flaw in my system when I first uploaded a video of it. I went ahead and fixed that, so thanks Ben. Alright, so you can see the outputs are across from me and the inputs are right here. And if I click any of the second, third, or fourth inputs, nothing will happen. Now if I click this first input, the first light will come on, and if I click the third or fourth input, the light goes off because the system gets reset, and so the same thing happens if you've got two lights and you click the fourth light. Alright, so now you can get the final output by just clicking all the buttons in the right order, and then this sends the signal to the system reset, and it all goes off. Alright, so here's how it works. I've got the RS nor latch right here for the first button, the RS nor latch for the second button, the third button, and then the fourth button. And what happens is while the first button's RS nor latch is off, it sends a signal to the second RS nor latch to stay off. And the second one can't be activated until the first one is, and so on and so forth. And then the second thing I did is if you see here, this is the output for the second button, and here I'm standing on top of the input for the third button. The output for the second button sends a signal to here, and this torch is off, and so if you hit the input for the third button, while the output for the second button is not activated, this whole line right here will turn off, activating this torch, sending a signal to reset the whole system. And so if the second one is on though, this torch will be on, and hitting this button for the third input, that'll do nothing, and so that'll let the third one turn off. Uh, the signals are input using vertical transmission, and the outputs are output using a simple method of vertical transmission. Although, another thing too is that you would only need one of these outputs, the final one, because the rest are just kind of arbitrary. I just used them to show how it works. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.